All right, guys. Well, welcome back to a, another live of explosive weekend, I guess. Um, yeah, not really sure what we had found, but it's looking pretty close to an artillery shell again. Like, <clears throat> let me see if I can flip it around here. So you can see the back side, and then the front side's flat. So this is what they call like a percussion cap. The percussion part of it. So we're wondering, you know, it's hard to say what it is because we've pulled up these before and we've actually had the bomb squad come out for it. Uh, so we're waiting on an officer to come out just to double check it. So like I said, this is what they call, what the officer told me before is what they call a percussion. Uh, Jay Paul, what's up, man? This would be the percussion part, if you can see kind of where my finger's at. Iron Antler, what's up? Uh, Mary Monarch, hey. So it looks like we found a canister for um, like an ignition canister for an artillery shell. So we do have an officer coming out here to look at it. Looks like, uh, oh, Bud Boucher, Outdoor Influencer sent you. Well, awesome. I'm glad that Outdoor Influencer sent you this way. Um, him and I have actually had a lot of opportunities to fish together. But right now we're just waiting on an officer to come out here to kind of see what's going on. Oregon Family Magnet Fishing, what's up? <clears throat> Iron Antler, what's going on? Yeah, dude, this is crazy. Once again, finding another uh, potentially explosive device. This is in the same area we've been finding them on the railroad bridges underneath. So this is, like I said before, this is potentially uh, what they call a percussion canister and that's what makes me nervous is because if you look at it this would be the percussion part right here <clears throat> this is where it gets knocked right here and then this would be like basically the ignition for a mortar so we do have it sitting here right now i've been trying to get some of the uh we're always trying to be safe but this is actually just a little bit give you guys a little bit of an idea of what we found today i'm gonna walk down here for you guys so today we're out here with Rob and Larry from Bad Influence. What's up, guys? <clears throat> this is Larry from Bad Influence. We got Rob. How's it going, guys? Uh, we're trying to figure out how to get Rob off the boat. Some of the stuff that we found on here today is absolutely crazy, you guys. This is like nuts. Like we actually had to go and dump off a few things. I'm thinking close to a thousand pounds. So we have two bikes. They pulled up two bikes on here. Uh, seat. <coughs> A seat for like a semi like air ride seat and then just a bunch of stuff and then this guy from bad influence rob decides to pull up the percussion canister <laughs> but yeah as you guys can see this is the bridge that we usually fish at in this area down the river as well and then found like brakes and stuff like that but we're still right now just waiting on an officer to ugh, come up here um so, kind of post. Yeah, uh, definitely looking for a bucket. Actually, Rob, you said you have a bucket in the back of your car. Yeah, there's a bucket in the back of the truck. All right. Yeah, we're gonna put this in there because I just don't want it to sit out like this. All right, like that. <sighs> Let's see if we got a bucket here. Yep, got my bucket. So now I gotta see if I can get some water in this. And uh, we'll get this canister, seeing if we can get it in there. Yeah, it's crazy, you guys. This has been like, I honestly don't even know how many. We we just found. So yeah, dude, we've been finding explosives like crazy recently. And uh, it kind of makes me wonder like how in the hell. We're trying to get this damn boat up a little bit so I can get my phone. Way the heck back there again. Uh, 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 should be enough. Should be enough, huh? Yeah. Unhide Mary. I didn't hide Mary. I don't know. Dirty Meg Yackers, what's up, guys? Um, yeah, percussion canister for an artillery shell. We're just waiting on an officer. This is actually the. Michigan Gems, what's up? 
Oh, Jay's first day. So this is actually the percussion canister. So we're gonna get this in here for the time being and wait for the proper authorities to come up. I just wanna see some of these messages coming through. So yeah, you guys, like I said, this is kind of give you guys a little rundown of where we're at. So we usually launch over here, get out here. As you guys can see, a lot of graffiti underneath and stuff here. Go down the river and yeah. Oh, you, had, you got the influencer this weekend, huh? That's awesome. Hope you guys are having fun. Oh yeah, what a... What a day. We pulled up close to probably a thousand pounds today. Yes, Mary, now I can see you. I don't know who hid you, but it wasn't very nice. So it wasn't me this time. But yeah, you guys, it's been we found some old wrenches too. Just getting everything loaded back up into the back of the car. As you guys can see, the rusty magnets have got this all wrapped now. And we're just waiting on everything so as you guys know the rogue beast has been very hungry lately for explosives apparently so <laughs> i don't know you guys it's been uh been something pretty wild you found i also found some of these wrenches too underneath the bridge and an old lock the old rare lock some wrenches and we got this guy emerging out the woods this is mr. bad influencer how many wrenches did we get today I believe six seven maybe eight of them yeah yeah old railroad wrenches <clears throat> but yeah now I already did call to oh, let the PD yeah. know what's going on so oh, fuck. <laughs> Sea legs. I know, I had sea legs when I got my yak. Oh my god. Holy cow. Jake, I gotta ask you a question, man. Does your oh kayak get this dirty when you go out in the kayak? I don't know if it's just me, if I'm doing something wrong or what, but man, I'm telling you, it gets it's, it gets crazy. Uh, go show them the boat, too. I know I already did. <laughs> so today, everything that we were finding today heavy was found by this guy again <laughs> again <laughs> and then larry he's oh, that's a plank. <laughs> yeah pull up a 20 or what was it 20 inch or 20 no, i got a 20 inch you, he got rob, a 24. rob got a 20 inch no one of these guys okay so we pulled up a 20 inch and a 24 inch bike he off of the bike. off of the john boat no it wasn't on the bridge you guys it was underneath the train bridge it would this guy this joker over here Decided to pull up an artillery shell. Well, it's not really up the artillery shell, but it's a part of the canister. They call it the ignition canister. So now, <laughs> Sean, what's up, man? I don't know if we're gonna be done for the day or what's going on, but if you you know where we are, uh, I can kind of show you. If you get time, you know where we are, right here. So if you want to stop by, swing by. Somebody needs to bring some soda. Yeah. Yeah, I know. The things that we find in the water is crazy. I'll do over the bridge soon. All right. Yeah, man. If you want to stop by, go ahead, swing by. Uh, like I said, we're just waiting. Uh, because uh, we could use use the extra help to try and unload that damn boat. Yeah, so, Sean. If you could swing uh, by over here. because uh, we gotta try and get that boat unloaded too. But yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, this is actually the percussion canister sitting here. damn thing was hissing too yeah this thing was hissing at me <laughs> i had in my kayak oh i almost just dropped it yeah that should be enough water there. that mary is the rusty mobile i have big plans for that it actually is going to be getting lifted it's gonna be pretty sweet so it's gonna be one of the only subaru legacies uh lifted with a three and a three and a half three and a half inch list lift <laughs> can't talk but yes we did wrap it this is a vinyl wrap uh, it has the rusty magnets our YouTube on there 
has our Instagram on here. Um, but yeah, it turned out pretty good. I got my dish lights I got put on yet. And it's got the rusty magnets up front, so. It's all wrapped. Kind of turned out pretty good. Uh, Jen and I did it. So if you guys do know a little bit about Jen and I, we're huge into cars and stuff like that. But I know enough rambling for now. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks, bud. Uh, Risha, thank you. Uh, these cops here like to take the time, I tell you that. No, it's not dots, Mary. They're shapes, and one of them we have to get rid of because it kind of resembles something that it probably shouldn't. But and we do. Oh yeah, you guys check this out. So we were put, when we were wrapping it, we decided to put Pac-Man on the car. So it's got Pac-Man on it. All right, Sean. Sean says he's gonna be here in a few minutes. All right. Sounds good, man. I'll see you in a few then. Oh. Yeah, so now we get to wait and see. Wait and see. Yeah. Like I said, what it looks like is the... Uh, <laughs> Mary Monarch said we need to get closer to the donut shop. <laughs> Maybe oh, they'll God. come faster. Yeah, no, 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 don't forget. It's not Oh, donut. here comes an officer right now, so... Yeah. So we should be good now, you guys. We're hoping. Yeah. Oh, so from what it... Guys, we got a... Oh my god. Hopefully it is the one that hopefully it's not the redhead, you guys. I don't know if you guys caught that or not. That redhead video. Uh she was a complete she was mean to us. So we're gonna take a look and see what we got going on here. Talk with this officer. See what he says. Hello! Not much. So, oh, awesome day, man. That's, yeah, that's right. What do you got today? It looks like a percussion canister for like an artillery show. Okay. So, if you would like to come take a look at it, it's in the bucket of water sure. right now because it was hissing at me on my kayak. It was hissing. Yeah, yeah, it was hissing all the way back. Oh, <laughs> so, this is what we got here. And this is what was hissing on the way back. Huh. Interesting. Don't know what it is. I'm not sure what it is, but Me neither. I don't like it. I've never seen an artillery show before, believe it or not. Oh, man. I just didn't like the fact that it was hissing at me between my legs on the kayak. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be a fan of that either. Okay. All right, guys. So just to give you guys a heads up, the officer is out here. He's never seen an artillery show, so he's kind of yeah. taking a look and seeing. Oh, it's full. I mean the bullet, dude. We've got almost a thousand. This would be bullet. like okay. our eighth explosive yeah, now. Yeah, drop some off. Okay. Yeah. Metal off. We had to drop right. a few a few more things off before we got back. Sure, you heard about the grenade that it pulled up? Yeah, that I heard was about that. yeah, that's right over there. Okay, uh, so good. well, I'll give my uh, lieutenant a call and see what he has to say. I already gave him a call as soon as I saw the call. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I might have to get some noble. Uh, Lu lieutenant Gales. Gales. Okay. Mm -hmm. The lieutenant noble would know what's going on most yeah. likely if we. He's usually pretty good with it. So. Okay. Sounds as you guys can see, uh, you don't mind being on camera. That's fine. All right. So the officer out here he's contacted his uh lieutenant and his lieutenant possibly he's going to come out you said yeah i'll give him a call and see if he wants to come out and uh, obviously i'm not an explosives expert so. right I, like i said i just the fact that it was hissing at me was kind of like <laughs> yeah shit. yeah that's the first <laughs> that, that, yeah but i was not actually the one who found it i, I just did. called it in for you him. Know yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you, you found an explosive shell and then you gave it to your buddy, right? Yeah. Because he's like, well, you, can, you can make it back faster than me. My battery's dying. So I'm like, let me paddle back. I'll get out. And, all right, uh, fair enough. Put so, it back in the water. Like I said, put it in a bucket of water. So yeah. just keep it stable yep. if it is. Oh, but yeah, yeah, it's definitely. You know, I gotta keep some buckets in the truck. Because yeah. yeah, like I said, this is what we were looking at. That was the fact that it almost looks like a. Another, like right here. Another day. Yeah. That's so. All right, well, I'll give him a call. All right. He'll probably come out here, I'm not sure. Though. All right, sounds good, yeah. Give me, give me two minutes, all oh, right? Oh, I appreciate all it, man. Mary Monarch, she said, Clayton, you should be used to things hissing at you. <laughs> oh, Mary, she's at it again. Oh, man. Mary, Mary, Mary. A... Bye-bye, I'm not working again. I'm not I know it's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. 
Yeah, that's it. That's kind of why, like, if it's hissing at me, I want to put it in a bucket of water and call the cops because I don't know what it is, you know. I don't want to know. Yeah. I, the we, fact we, that. We don't need it to blow up while we're out on the river, you know. Yeah. Right. So. Like I just, said, too. We, we just figured we'd call it in. I figured it'd be safe and sorry. Yeah. On here. Make sure you guys, though, so once these guys get their channel out, make sure you guys head over check out their channel. Uh, their, their channel is actually going to be called Bad Influencer. Have me. I know. That's what alerted me was this piece here. Yeah. This and that's piece. where it was hissing. There's bubbles coming out from around the around here. Oh, yeah, oh was it? So you that's what that's what it was tell. hissing from. Wow, and Rob goes onto his hand point up me and Clay. Boom! <laughs> I'm stepping back a little bit with the guy holding it. <laughs> As you guys can see though. As you guys can see though. It's back in the uh, bucket of water now, so we're just waiting to see what the officer says. So, yo. All right, but, uh, Lieutenant's on the way out. Uh, he's gonna get out. Um, and you said he was the one who found it. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, I'll just have to grab his information to give you a quick look. All right. Um, are you the? Uh, what's the name of your channel? The Rusty Magnets. The Rusty Magnets. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's another one that I've seen a bunch of your guys' videos on. Bad Influence? No. no, it'd be Outdoor Influencer. Outdoor Influencer, yep. that's the yep. one. Yep, I'm sure. Is, do you run that channel? Is that no, that's else? a buddy of mine. Okay. Yep, uh, my buddy runs that channel, actually. Yeah, I, I've seen your face on it a lot. Yeah, so him and I, I actually, he comes up from Missouri quite a bit, actually. It's, okay. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, she'll be coming up pretty soon again. We should go out on the kayaks and stuff like that and find okay. stuff. But we haven't found anything like this just mm -hmm. the last time we found we were in water <coughs> what was it, watertown we found an artillery shell they took out to the quarry and detonated really yeah so and it looked just like this one no this one was the one that my wife found was quite a bit bigger <coughs> and yeah okay. it was probably about that long oh, wow. and yeah it was and it was raining out that day right, so well, i will uh <coughs> but yeah it's uh right over there is actually where we found the grenade right across the river okay yeah <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, you guys same area all sorts of. Yeah. Oh, We've same been, we had that body at, ain't it? Yeah, it's where we found that body. Yeah. And it's never was able to be recovered. Yeah. The sonar only goes like five feet and it's about 10 feet deep. So, I guess you think it's in it because every time we go past the area, it gets really cold chills. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been. <laughs> we, found, we had the bomb squad over at our house on Christmas Eve. Okay. My wife's like, <coughs> Clay. 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 I'm like, what? She's like, I think we have some artillery shells. We need to go look on the truck. So, what? Christmas Eve going out there and Mott oh, County my info? came up. Uh, Mott County Bomb Squad came up and retrieved them. I don't have no info. That's cool. So, yeah, they're, it's kind of an ongoing thing recently because we've been finding a lot of them. Um, we've been finding railroad detonators too. Yeah. Railroad detonators. Okay. Like, railroad like poppers. Yeah. yeah those, what they, they, before, like, they had railroad things. crossings way back in the day. Yeah. They'd put them on the railroad tracks like a mile quarter mile or a yeah, mile a half mile three quarters <laughs> mile distance between the railroad crossing yeah, and it, to let the pedestrians or yep gotcha. and they're they've been known to blow off fingers people's faces and stuff like that oh, so and the officers the red-headed officer that works with you guys um she's like that's probably the video that you saw she was extremely rude to us <laughs> told us to do whatever you want with them and get rid of them or whatever well, yeah, it was on outdoor, well, outdoor said, hey, We too. were wasting, Waste, Fond du Lac yeah, wasting resources, wasting and, time and, and stuff the first like one that. We found that one cop may have thrown back in the water. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. <laughs> what was your name, sir? Since you're Robert. the founder. All right, you, all right guys, I'm gonna step away found. from for a second, just so that you guys don't hear all of Rob's information. Um, the lieutenant now is actually on his way out right now, so he's actually pulling up right here. Um, unmarked so we're gonna see what he has to say I don't know I'm not familiar with this lieutenant but yeah you guys what another exciting day for magma fishing with us I don't like the fact that you guys are talking about double dog dare Sean <coughs> hey lieutenant how are you good so it looks like Possibly like a uh, artillery, like a ignition canister. What do you guys all have to, to make that? I mean, because you would have saw it when you pulled it out. Correct. So, it's the fact that we've seen it before. Okay. And 
obviously doing research with what we do. Yeah. You know, this is would have been. Is it solid? Yeah. But what made me concerned about it, it was when I was carrying it back to shore, I had it in my kayak, and it was hissing at me. Yeah. Did it sound like, this is a, you know, when water comes out of like out of an object, did it sound like that type of hissing? You know, because if it's like a pinpoint hole, uh, and there's water just barely seeping out, Right. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be something like that. I don't know how to really explain <laughs> it, you know? I was more like, kind of like, oh, shit. Yeah, I just need yeah, to, I just need to let me get this on the shore. I was like, well, let me get, let me figure out what this. Let me figure like. out where this is coming from yeah, first. Yeah, what yeah. kind of hissing is this? Yeah, but, boom. Man. I'm wondering if it's like, um, uh, you know, if you think about a cannonball being round, if it was something like a projectile mm -hmm. uh, that was shot out, and that's the projectile. So I don't think there would be anything explosive in it. Mm -hmm. I think the explosive like primer would have been behind it. Right. That's what it looks like. That's to what me. I'm wondering is like yeah. because of this part right here. With it being concave, yeah, that, yeah. That, that, but that there's a, be there's like a, almost like it feels like a nipple right here, like, cause it was hissing from around this around, right here. Oh, yeah. There. yeah. Hey, she's heavy oh, too. Oh God, yeah, that's 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 heavy. And I just don't know, cause like you said too, I don't know if that was like a can of, like a cannonball would have been in here and yeah. sat on top of that and that projected it or what. I'm thinking the opposite. I think whatever was in here. Would have this was the projectile. So that, that's solid. Okay. That's probably worth some money for you guys, actually. <laughs> if you take that over to somewhere. Yeah, I'm just not sure what it is. I just don't know like what you guys want to do with it, because I. I don't think this is something where we need uh, like the bench about to come out for. Okay. Uh, I think this is something that you guys, if you guys want to keep it, you're found properly. It's something that you guys can keep. You got it. <laughs> I already got some of them in my house already. Oh, well, like I said, it's good scrap metal. Yeah, I mean, they'll probably take it in, and with the scrap yeah. prices the way it is, yeah. you know, maybe you guys can get some more. more um, stuff we've here, got so. about another thousand pounds. Yeah, we have literally the <laughs> right, boat. Like, the if boat you look at the John here. boat, the John boat's full. We were just finding bikes and stuff like that. Well, like. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. So if you think it's safe, then we'll go with your decision. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I. I I don't have any reason to think that there would be anything exposed. Okay. Actually. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. Are yeah. You guys still going out later tonight? Or? Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. We're uh, sure. Yeah. We pulled up a lot of stuff How today. How long have you been out here today? Uh, three hours. Well, about three hours. Been out here since noon. Oh, you guys have? Oh, I came out and joined yeah, you guys a little after. Like your rope here. It's hard. Like I, I do it off we a kayak. We had heavy mountain bike. We dropped off over by Grass Street. Okay. I was. I'm gonna get back in the boat. I'm sitting holding onto it with my hand, yeah. pulling alongside the boat. All right, guys. So you heard from the officer. Yeah. Um, awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate yeah. it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So what he said it sounds like is Oregon, <laughs> Oregon Family Magnificent said they just don't want to do the paperwork on it. Uh -huh. And I I agree because they're, what they're saying is that would have been the projectile. Uh, what came out of uh, a cannon or something like that. I don't know, you guys. So hopefully you guys can figure out, you know, if when you guys see this, let me know what you guys think this is because exactly, iron antler, better safe than sorry. I never would have thought that that would have been a projectile. Like, yep. why in the heck is still a projectile in the river? Like, where did it come from? How did it get shot there? You know, there wasn't civil, a lot of civil war, um, fight like fighting here either that's the thing not that, that i know of no anyway. wisconsin didn't have a lot of civil war like war ish yeah. stuff but the, but, but <clears throat> then what would explain the grape shot cannonball right we find that we've been finding because we find a lot of grape shots and stuff like that a lot like we found some that are from like <coughs> that big around to like actual cannonball size yeah so we i'm not found, i mean i've got two of the grape shots upstairs yeah and we have I've two of ours two of them and they're pretty big yeah so how big would you like show the camera like how big would you think it would be? Yeah, it's it's probably like that. Yeah, so it's <laughs> probably mind. cannonball size. But yeah. there's no there's no um uh um, fuse. There I, th I think Larry, Larry, Larry's saying he's got one too, I think. I appreciate it. Uh like I said, I'm gonna wrap this up. I think I hear Sean actually right there. If I think it's it sounds like his car. But uh yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up you guys. You guys heard it first. Like I said, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I learned something new today that these are actually what they consider projectiles now. So thank you guys. I will see you guys. What is the name of his channel? Um, Bad Influencer. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah. Here. That would have been a part of the top to one of them. Uh, 
The railroad detonators. The railroad poppers, detonators. Yep. When, uh, one looks like it might have went off at one point in time. <laughs> No. But you guys, like I said, bad influencer. They haven't started their channel up yet, so they are going to be starting it up soon. Uh, once they do, I'm sure you'll hear it first from us, uh, bad influencer. Uh, once their channel's up, you know us. We are the Rusty Magnets. Uh, Magnet Fisher with Sean's on his way out here to take a look at this as well, you guys. But with that, I'll see you guys on the next time.